okay so uh, uh, as i told you priority is uh, totally depend on the scheduling that how soon your defect should be resolved and severity is totally depend on how majorly it is impacting your application okay so based on that we give the priorities and severities any doubt anyone okay moving on what is the difference between priority and severity so if uh, priority indicates how soon the bug should be fixed while severity indicates the seriousness of the defect on the product functioning okay now comes the priority is associated with scheduling as i told you while severity is associated with the functionality okay high priority and low severity uh, status indicates can you give any example previous batch deepali we have discussed this thing very deeply right uh, what is the example of high priority and low severity yeah anyone actually maybe a logo of a famous website like amazon yeah. or something like that um yeah. uh, it's uh, like from my previous experience in the work experience mm -hmm. like uh, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes sometimes what happens um, there may be a small issue like uh, ui issue something like that maybe mm -hmm. color or maybe small mistake or something but uh, the clients if the clients uh, wants that to be fixed then it becomes um, the priority becomes higher even though if it's a low bug so that's the uh, high priority and low severity correct correct very good um, okay any example as a yeah as the police said if it is a something logo or ui dependency or like a, a if a, if spelling mistake of your site name okay that will be a high priority but it is not affecting your application so it is low severity okay so defect have to be fixed on immediate basis but does not affect the application okay so that is called as high priority and low severity while high severity and low priority any example any example is it high severity and low priority yes company logo itself is a like high severity and then no but uh, in company logo there is no functionality uh, functionality is not affecting right, right. if you are uh, functional wise if you see that uh, uh, if uh, if there is a site which is uh, maybe there is a link like you know uh, somewhere on the uh, sub pages like you know uh, when 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 there is a link that is not used much uh, mm -hmm. is broken correct correct so that is that is the example of high severity and low priority okay uh -huh. yeah. um, see logo can't be a high severity why because it is not affecting your application it is not uh, uh, like some uh, suppose your application is uh, uh, credit card okay you are you are selling credit card or you are offering uh, credit card okay so that time if your logo is not proper still you can uh, sell your or offer or they can see your credit card correct mm -hmm. but severity is not affecting but it is affecting the uh user uh, like uh, it is affecting the uh, like how user is seeing your site so they are impacting the user uh, experience okay so that is not good so that that's why it is high high priority if if it is logo problem okay low uh, uh, high severity means it is affecting your application like uh, deepali said it is affecting some application which is not in much of use so that is a low priority 
why because it is not you we are not using that site much so it will become a low priority but high severity why because that functionality is not working but but we are not using that functionality much so that's why it is a low priority okay so priority status is uh, uh, definitely based on the customer requirement okay but the severity status based on the technical aspects of the product okay any doubt anyone have i can explain again if anyone have any doubt yeah can you please come again yeah so uh, what doubt you have that means like, like what what how we differentiate both like for the like, yeah. so no severity or... difference between if someone asks you what is the difference between severity and priority right that doubt you have right okay anyone what is the difference between severity and priority yeah can i explain to you yeah. yes yeah, sure yeah. so basically priority is uh, related to scheduling and severity is related to the product functionality Uh, seriousness of the defect of the product functionality. Uh, so at Savitri uh, said, yeah. Like when you say scheduling, like what do you mean by scheduling? Like how fast uh, you have to fix that bug. Like Savitri said, if even though it's like a low priority, uh, even though it's like a low severity UI defect, but customer wants it fixed, then it becomes e becomes high priority. customer decides basically you know even though like as a tester as a developer it is not that severe but customer like savitri said if it's a ui issue it's a logo issue of a company and customer asks like it has to be fixed as soon as possible then priority becomes high okay yeah and uh, severity is related to the product functionality it's if something is broken some functionality is not working and then we decide how severe it is sometimes if the main functionality is not working then it is high severity sometimes a minor functionality is not working it is less severe so functionality also decided by the customers like severe or low uh, no that that no, even that's... testers and developers know right qa qa decides yes QA yeah decides. qa decides yeah. yes yeah okay yes it's purely depend upon the qa that how much functionality how much priority or severity uh, he or she want to give Okay. Because see, it is something. If your application is not working, if some functionality is not working, that is something you have to fix it as soon as possible, right? Like some UI issues still can be ignored, but functionality itself is not working, not acceptable. Okay. Thank you. All clear? Yeah. Thank you. Everyone, Samil and the Sneha. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. okay moving on yeah so we have an example as we have already discussed about the example you can go through this example okay okay now we will come to the loops okay so we have uh, four types of loops available for loop if else loop while loop do while loop okay so what is for loop anyone what is for loop for loop is when we have a uh, initialize ex ex uh, expressions okay we are initializing one expression we are testing the condition and if it is true it will enter into that loop and if it is false it will terminate the loop okay if it is enter in the loop it will continue till that condition is satisfied clear syntax of this loop is what for inside that we have a initial expression then the test expression 
and then the update expression. Okay, so this is the flowchart. Initialize the expression like x equal to one, x equal to two. That is initialization. Then test the expression x, uh, test the condition, and then update it. Like if you are testing that uh, i is greater than ten or not. Okay, and you are updating means you are adding it. Okay, so that is the for loop. Okay, we'll see the example. Okay, this is the main method. Inside that, oh, sorry, main class. Inside that, there is a main method. We are putting integer n equal to five, and we are putting the for loop. What uh, can ex can anyone explain what what we are doing here? Anu or uh, Dipali. Like uh, what I understand, Chavi here, like mm -hmm. you just put the integer and is equal to five. Like you, like you will take this loop till from one, then n plus one, like i plus one, correct. then two, then three, four, five. Correct, correct. So how many times this uh, uh, loop will be executed? How many times this? Uh, th this is like printing statement, right? Yes. Okay. How many times it will print? Five, five times it will show in the console. Five times? Yes. Yes, because okay. it starts with one. And mm -hmm. when i is less than or equal to n, so when n equal to five, mm -hmm. up to five, it will show. And after that, it will come out of the loop. Correct. So we'll just check it in the Eclipse. Okay. So suppose what I will do, I'll create one more class inside the package okay so i'll go create one more class and we'll take for loop okay i will include the main method here and i will finish okay so okay inside that what i have to write integer i equal to one okay for i equal to i equal to one one i is less than equal n, to n i plus plus i less than equal to five five i plus I. plus good yeah so after that s system read out dot print ln java is fine Right only Java. So, what do you think? Okay, this is uh, not a good practice. I can write integer here only. Okay. That's it, right? So, if I save this, yes, yes. And run. So five times, correct. Okay, clear everyone? Any doubt? No, right? So this is the for loop. Moving ahead, we have else statement, if else. So there is four types of if else statement, only if statement, if else statement, if else, if ladder, and nested if. Okay, so we will see. In if statement, we test the condition and it execute if the condition is true, okay? So what is the flow diagram? Uh, we'll check the condition first. If it is true, it will enter into the loop. It will execute those codes which are inside the loop and then it will come out of the loop or else if it is false, it come out of the loop anyway, okay? Syntax is if condition, and that's it. Code what is ever is executed. 
एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल इज इफ एग्जाम्पल इज ए क्लास इज ए क्लास एंड साइड दैट देर इज मेन मेथड एज इज ट्वेंटी सो इफ एज इज ग्रेटर देन एटीन सो इट विल प्रिंट दी एज इज ग्रेटर देन ट्वेंटी ओके सो वॉट विल हैपन वॉट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम एनी वन Am I audible? It will not go in the loop. Okay. Yeah, it will not oh, sorry. A, sorry, age is greater than eighteen. It will print. Um, age is greater than eighteen. Yeah, it will go hmm. in. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, it will print. Age is greater than eighteen. Ah, because age is greater than eighteen. No. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Enter the, because age twenty. So, anyways, age is greater than eighteen. Any doubt, anyone? No. Great. So you you try this program, okay? When I give you the uh, uh, like um, after ten minutes when we have a break, no? So you try all these programs, and if you have any doubt, just tell me, okay? In the if else block, what will happen? Um, if the condition is true, okay? You see the uh, condition. Uh, you see the flow diagram. If the condition is true, it will enter into this. If block, else, uh, if the condition is false, it will go to the else block, and then it will come out. Okay. So what is the difference between if and if else? You got it. So if the condition is false, it will go to this uh, separate block and uh, print it whatever there is inside the else. Okay. Example, I will show you. example i will show you that if uh, if number is 18 suppose so if uh, number divided by 2 no not this is divided by 2 this is the remainder okay so if the remainder of uh, if that number is divided by 2 and remainder is 0 then it's an even number else it has an odd number okay you also you try this uh, also so this is what a program to demonstrate the use of is if else statement and in this program what we are doing we are finding the odd or even number okay it's pretty simple if it is uh, the number is divisible by 2 then it is an even number if it is not divisible by 2 then it's an odd number else it's an odd okay so what here what it will print what is the output of this odd number clear everyone any doubt uh, abira sneha somel any doubt savitri not try right now maybe when i will start running them yeah yeah, yeah. i will give That's you this uh, ppt i'll give you this ppt you execute this uh, programs okay okay yeah so and one more thing is this is a Uh, ternary example if else ternary so in this only to this if else statement okay not nested if not uh, if else ladder only to this uh, if else statement we can also write like this okay so you don't have to check the condition or something like that you can simply write it in a write it in one way like system a string it will store it in a string why because whatever you are printing it's a string correct so we will store the uh, store the output in a string and we will print that output okay so i will show you uh, yeah anyone was asking anything um uh, chavi just uh, have a question um yeah. i mean uh, i don't uh, uh, need to know like how it is but uh, uh, i am curious like Uh, int can be only one number or maybe we can say like 1 to 10 1 to 20 something like that like that also possible is, is it is that also no. possible like no 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 only one okay. number otherwise one number. it will be like a string uh, right uh, only one number you can 
keep it only one number. I will one number. This. Okay. Otherwise, it will give you uh, uh, error. Error. Okay. If you, yeah, I will. Okay. Suppose if I write here in i equal to zero, then it will be okay. Okay, there is no red mark. If I say z zero to ten, it will give you the error, right? It will not allow you. Hello. This is a syntax error. It will not allow you to execute this. Okay. Only one number you can give ten. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good, good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so in if statement, if it is, if you are writing uh, like uh, integer i equal to zero and uh, you write, you wanted to write it like this. Okay. So what you will do, string output equal to Whatever condition you have, you can write it down like a uh, no number. This uh, whatever is if statement. Okay, so these are this you are uh, doing it in condition, right? So this is the condition here. Okay, so whatever is there in the condition, no, I if uh, I percentage two equal to equal to zero. Okay, so what will happen? Question mark. This is this question marks means if statement and this colon means else statement. Okay, so what you will do question mark and then even uh, even number. Okay, then colon odd number. Oh, okay. why did you do why did you do the question mark question mark this, this is an i'm telling you this is an uh, ternary example like this this is oh, how okay. you can also write this is also correct and this is a uh, like sometimes you know in uh, in the return test sometimes they ask you like this what is the output for this uh, particular program so you should not get confused it's just an just an uh, if else statement so that's okay. why i'm telling you so what you will do right here can anyone tell me what will be the output uh, what we are gonna print here even number no this is the output, right? So we are that even number or odd number are storing in the output, okay. right? So this is the variable. So we are gonna print that. Okay. Are you getting my point? Anyone? Is that okay? Like this is the if statement. If this is uh, like this is a condition. If it is true, it will print this. If it is false, it will print this. Okay. okay. Okay, take it and show you. See, even number because this is 10. If it is 13, suppose, okay, and if I execute it, this is an odd number, okay. So, uh, very simple. This is just a condition. This question mark represents the if statement. And this colon represents the L statement. Clear? Is that clear to everyone? I will also show you how to write it in a simple way. Okay. Like. Uh, Ch Chavi, uh, you said the colon represents something. Can you please repeat that one? Like. Uh... Yeah. Question mark. I will show you. Now I will show you. If, okay. if statement will print the
So this is an if statement. What we are going to print? This even number. Okay. And in else statement, we are going to put the odd number. Okay, this is the same thing. Okay, if I execute it, it will give you the same result. Odd. Okay, so this colon, this question mark represent the if statement, and this colon represent the else statement. Is that clear to everyone or no? Yeah. Okay, great. Now we have an if else letter okay so just i'm giving you an example of if else letter that if there are if it is a mark of uh, 65 somebody has 65 marks and if uh, else condition is written like marks less than 50 it will be fail marks between 50 to 60 it will be great okay uh, we'll have a 15 minute break then we will continue okay you just uh, by that time you can try it for installation of these programs which we have recording. Okay, so if else if ladder statement. What do you mean by if else if ladder statement? This is a uh, statement which execute one condition for multiple statements. Okay, so suppose there is one condition. And uh, there, there are like multiple conditions, okay? multiple statements. Suppose there is one condition, which then if it is true, then it will go to this. Then we have another condition. If it, that is true, it will go to the loop two. Uh, if, it, if you have third condition, which is true, then it will go to the loop three uh, and so on. Okay, And there is an else statement. If none of the condition is satisfied, then it will go to the else statement, okay? Uh, with the flow diagram, it will be more clear. Like condition one, if it is true, it will go to the statement one. If it is false, it will go to the, condi if condition two is true, then it will go to the statement two. If this is false and it will go to the condition three, it will go to the statement three and so on. Okay, and if it doesn't satisfy any of this condition, then it will go to the else statement and then it will come out of the loop. With example, I will show you. So suppose there is a program of grading system. Okay, uh, so, uh, so uh, there are four types of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six types of grade given here. Okay, one is fail, B grade, C grade, A, uh, B, A, A plus. Okay, so if your marks is given, uh, there is also one scanner statement. Okay, this is your assignment. Uh, this is your assignment that you have to find out the scanner where what will happen is uh, it will be a, okay, I, uh, or else we will- System will in ask the, input from you. Yeah, but for that scanner, you should know that how we have uh, <clears throat> giving dynamic input. Correct. And time. So, okay, just to try to find out how to use the scanner. Like we have given the marks hard coded, but with the help of scanner, yeah, Deepali was saying something. I think Anu was saying, yeah. Was saying something? Yeah, so, giving the input dynamically at the runtime. Mm -hmm. is uh, is that at that time we will use the scanner option scanner right yeah. correct so so uh, uh, when we when we are uh, when we don't want to give a hard coded marks okay we, we we wanted that user will enter that marks that time we use scanner or user will enter any value to some particular variable that time we use scanner so this is your assignment then you have that you have to uh, find the scanner program and uh, try to 
find out that what is scanner okay so what scanner will do uh, it will uh, ask you that enter the marks of a student so you will enter the marks okay so it will be like 65 anything you can write and then you will write all these conditions like if marks is less than 50 it will go to the fave if if it is between 50 to 60 it will be great and so okay else it is invalid if you have written uh, some uh, something which is not number then it will be like invalid okay uh, similarly you have to also make uh, a program which uh, check that positive negative or zero okay so what you are doing you are entering a number and you have to check that whether the that number is positive or, or whether that number is negative or whether that number is zero. Okay. So you'll uh, write the You're breaking Chavi. Okay. Am I audible now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these are the two uh, assignments I'm giving you. Uh, write a program to check positive, negative or zero. Okay. So you will submit the program to me in the group or uh, you can uh, no you can uh, submit the programs separately in a private chat only okay you can submit it to me and i will look into that programs okay if you have any doubt then also you can connect to me okay moving on and savitri will take care of the assignments okay <laughs> you remind me in the next class <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Okay. Okay. That what assignment I am giving in the in today's <laughs> class? You have to check that. <laughs> I I, I have you. not I have noted it down in my Gmail like draft. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Because I will keep forgetting. That's why I am giving you that um reminder. Okay. 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 okay thank you. Then, okay. The next is nested if. What is nested if? Anyone? Anyone from? This batch or previous batch? Anyone like nested if? What is the next step? If if the first if condition is true, then mm -hmm. only it will enter uh, the code, and uh, uh, then. Uh, there is sorry, no check sorry, for sorry, the check. again yeah. one double condition. Yeah. 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 yeah, there is a double condition like. This condition should be should true, also and also this condition should be true. Then only it will enter Execute into that code. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Very good. Hmm. So example. Example is but what? If, but but the the inside if can be false as well, right? Or, or it yeah. will by default go. No, no. Like it will check the condition, but okay. It, yeah. If it is false. If it is yeah. false, then it will not enter. Not into going there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 correct. This but there is no is else good. statement here. Okay. Yeah. You can add else statement also if you required. Uh, there is no harm in it. But no, no. I'm thinking if the inside if is false, why hmm. we are putting? That's what I was thinking actually. No, then yeah. it will not. In, then it will not print what is there inside the. Loop. Yeah, yeah, that's there. But I'm thinking, what's the use of it? Like doing this if inside is false. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay. Clear, um, everyone. Uh, like, if suppose this is an example of demonstrating the if uh, nested if statement. Okay, so there are two variables like weight and age. Okay, so if this is age is twenty, this also you have to do by scan uh, using scanner. Okay. So age is 20, weight is 80. Okay. So age is greater than 18, weight is greater than 18, then only you are eligible for the blood donation. Okay. So this time what will happen if whether the person is able to donate uh, the blood or not in the present condition? Yes. Whether this will print or not? Yes. Yes. Because age is also greater than 20 and weight is also greater. So it will go inside this loop. Okay. Um, shall we for the previous one, uh, the mm -hmm. assignments, right? Uh, what condition that we have to use? Is that the uh, if else led or we have to find? We have, we have to find out, like, okay, this for this one, right? Oh, yeah, whatever yeah. You, you think is good, whatever okay. you think, 
Yeah. Okay. Good. I will give more programs also. Okay. You have to make uh, this week. You have to make programs, programs, programs. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that way you can practice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank you. While loop, my loop is not uh, very much popular in Selenium, but in Java point of view, you can use while loop. But in Selenium, we don't use while loop much. Just for your uh, uh, knowledge, I'm I'm giving you the while loop description. While loop is also similar as for loop, but the syntax is different. Okay, in while loop also you initialize. Then you uh, check the condition and then you do the incrementation. Okay. But what will happen here is while the syntax is while condition and then the code. Okay. So uh, doing the. Um, okay. So uh, we, the condition, uh, this while loop will uh, execute. Uh, this while loop will execute unless until this condition is true. After that, it will come out of the loop. Okay. So what is the difference between while loop and do while loop? Anyone? Yeah, do while loop will execute at least once before checking the condition. And a while it will enter the loop only if condition is true. Correct. Correct. So while, uh, while loop will uh, the uh, uh, we will enter the while loop only if the condition is true. So then only we can enter into the loop. But in do while loop, we have we will enter into the loop at least once. If the condition is false, then also uh, we are going to enter this loop at least once. Okay. So sometimes it is used when we have to execute it at least once. So we can use this uh, uh, do while loop. Okay. But this is not that popular. Okay, so this is one small example. Okay, is that clear to everyone? While and do while, this is the only difference. Sometimes it is asked in the interview question. So that's why I covered this in uh, our Java topic. Okay, uh, moving on to the OOPS concept. So there are six types of OOPS concepts. Okay, main concept, which is class, object, method, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, and encapsulation, okay? Class object method, we have touched a little bit, okay? Uh, now we will do that in detail, okay? Uh, so the, when someone say, ask you about what are the OOPS concept, so you have to tell all these six things uh, which are uh, included in Java and that makes the Java oops uh, like object oriented programming. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, Chavi, I have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. Inheritance we use a lot in Selenium. Uh, do we use abstraction and encapsulation? Yes. Uh, it depends on whether you wanted to hide the data from, uh, as you know, it is for the data hiding security purpose, right? Okay. These two, these two are for the um, like uh, usability purpose so that you can uh, reuse. reuse, correct? So you can reuse your code, but these two are for the security purpose and for the hiding purpose. Right? Okay, so, so polymorphism, so, does polymorphism is overriding and overloading? Yeah. That is, those are the different types of polymorphism. Polymorphism, okay. Okay. come on. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 just this question. No, no, just kind of review, reviewing uh, okay. Chavi. Yeah, because yeah, like yeah. later point of time, we used inheritance and polymorphism. Got Overloading it. over, but I don't think so. We used abstraction and encapsulation, right? By, later? Uh, no, we didn't hear. Yeah. Yeah, why? Because, uh, because data hiding is only uh, happen when when you are doing some big projects Just like right? we have given is... one example no chavi like like mm -hmm. if we in a like if you are dealing with an employee employee mm -hmm. person details though we don't want mm -hmm. one person employee details to be shown to the other person employee okay. so at that time we will be hiding that the data of that particular employee and whatever okay. it is needed to be visible to the others only 
in that situation we will be using it man based on the project and all correct correct so this is this is very good example so that is why we need abstraction and encapsulation that time yeah Otherwise, because whatever we learn the concepts here in the class that's it for abstraction and encapsulation so that's why i asked do we use it in cell got it chavi thanks okay welcome okay moving on any doubt anyone so moving on uh, we have class okay what is class anyone a class is a collection of objects methods it's a blueprint correct we can say so uh, yeah a class is a collection of objects objects is a uh, like object is a uh, but a real world entity okay like when i see an object, variables and methods yeah that too. correct object is variables method like we variable methods are different but we create object right we are yeah, creating we create objects of uh, for variable and methods yeah correct correct so basically uh, class is not a real world okay real world entity it is a template or a blueprint or a prototype while object is a real world entity okay class does not occupy memory but object occupies a memory in the Uh, in our uh, like J J D K, okay. So there we store memory as an object, okay. Uh, like as I told you in a real time example, like uh, class uh, class is an animal, okay. In when we see imagine an animal, nothing comes into my our mind. But when we say object, object is a cat. So cat image comes into our mind. So cat store an area in our mind dog store an area in our mind okay but animal doesn't store any animal could be anything right if we say animal nothing comes to in our mind we can imagine anything when we say peacock parrot that that image comes to in our mind correct so that is why it is said that it is class is not the real world entity okay it's a blueprint like animal okay so it's a template or a blueprint or a prototype okay while object is a real entity like cat dog peacock whatever it is okay so syntax of class so here when we are saying objects we are kind of saying methods right no no no, no don't get object confused object is different method is okay. different object is different method is the functionality in order to use that no, functionality no. we have to have an object okay correct we create an object i understand we create yes. object of a class and then only we can access variables and methods yes correct correct with the help of object we can access the uh, class variables okay uh, global variables right or uh, or methods in the yes uh, like i will uh, i will explain that okay so currently is syntax of a class so as i named class uh, as uh, as you have seen when uh, when i was creating uh, eclipse in eclipse so class name i always write c capital and n capital like first name of any um, thing as capital like here also when i was creating see class i is capital and e is capital okay so this is the generic rule if you don't uh, do this then also it will be created but it's just a rule of uh, naming convention okay so first it will come access modifier what is access modifier when i say access modifier suddenly it should come what four things Permission. public private public. protected and default and default yeah. okay so it it should come directly into your mind that what is access modifier public protected default and um private private, private. okay uh then class class is the uh, what is class class is the keyword okay like this public uh, private protected like that and then class keyword and then comes the class name okay so this is the syntax inside that there are variables methods 
constructors block which we will all, all we will learn okay nested class okay so all this we will learn but this is the syntax okay moving on as i have told you these are the class different class and according to the class we create the objects and whatever their functionality okay what cat do they eat they drink uh what peacock do they they fly they eat okay but they can they they also eat okay so they are what we are doing here this is the common method so how we can use it we will see later okay so what is method anyone method is a, like a set of uh, instructions or uh, yeah it's a so code so method yeah, yeah method is a code, a code for performing any particular task particular like task. addition of a addition or uh, addition okay so what we are doing inside that method we will add few numbers okay if it is multiplication we are uh, multiplying that numbers okay so what what it is doing what it, what it is doing it is so it is actually doing the logic or operation correct it is doing the logic operation uh, what is the advantage of method we can we can use it for code reusability or code optimization so that we can improve our programs like if i created one method as eat we don't have to create it for the bird class we can as extract that method in this class also okay how we will do we will learn that okay don't worry about that so this is particularly method is for what for reusability and code optimization so that the performance of your project will be increased okay so if you reuse the code you can execute it faster correct okay now the syntax is again access modifier what is access modifier public, public private protected default correct okay then comes the um, what public uh, uh, what, this is access modifier then comes the return type return type okay return type and then method name and then list of parameters okay so this is return type void static we will uh, learn in detail about the static uh, uh, what is static variables what are static methods that we will learn in detail then comes the main method yani method name and comes the method name and then these are the arguments okay which we will pass okay that also we will learn and this is the body of method whatever is inside this method this is the body of this method okay so this is the syntax for method <coughs> now you have to read all these uh, these things like um, okay how to create an object that we will learn in the next class uh, because um uh, this is a this thing which take time and uh, i don't want to um uh, confuse many people so i'll stop recording